Hey, good morning. I trust you've had a great weekend. Um, and then that the word preached to you on Sunday will have rich application for you um, this week. We are in the book of Luke and we're going through this book uh, slowly and digging into the revelation and application. And I pray that it will be rich for you as well this week. I have got stuck in one verse this morning and that's in chapter 2 verse 21 where it says that when the time of circumcision came so eight days after Jesus was born they named him Jesus it was an ordinary name uh, in those days Jesus Uh, but by the time he had lived a sinless life by the time Jesus had been crucified by the time he had been resurrected the Bible says that this ordinary name This name became the name above all names, the name at which every knee would bow, every tongue would confess that He is the Christ, Jesus the Anointed One. They gave Him the name Jesus, but Jesus gave His name to us. His name is the only name by which you can be saved. His name, He said, go in my name. He said, come to the Father in my name. He said, until now you've asked nothing in my name, but now ask and you will receive. The name of Jesus isn't just something we end a prayer with. It's by which the name by which we have access to our Father. We have forgiveness of sin. We have healing. We, he, Jesus said, cast out demons in my name. There's healing in my name. Um, Isaiah said, his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Prince of Peace, everlasting father friend i pray that today whatever you do in word or in deed you will do in the name of jesus christ he has given you his name and i pray that his name would mark your life today would make a way for your life today the name above all names he's given it to you use his name today go in his name today be blessed in his name today amen